piece for a family. So I'm gonna be walking around the CBD, trying to ask as many young people as I can, or just the youth in general, what is Botswana's or Jabarone's culture? in one word what is the culture of Khabarong? y'all let you start <laughs> it's the best it's the best so like what is it what are your staple foods what are your like what is Khabarong and what makes you guys stand out from other countries in Africa to be honest it's our country's just as peaceful. it has peace yeah. peaceful and what would you say just the same thing as her it's a very mm -hmm. peaceful and mm -hmm. people you get to know each other like it's not the awkwardness. Mm -hmm. You just come along, get along, get to mm -hmm. know each other. Mm -hmm. You may have disagreements, but it's all about the peace and the love. The peace and the love. Yeah. Now let me ask you, because I see you guys are the newer generation, the younger. <laughs> so when I talk to a millennial, because I'm a millennial myself, so I talk to a millennial from here, and they're like, the youngins, they just wouldn't understand because you know they weren't born in the village; they were born right here. What are your thoughts about that? They are. They are right, but peace mm -hmm. has always been in this country. Yeah. Rosanna itself is about gathering and coming together, mm -hmm. getting to know each other, yeah. love, and it's all about family. Family, I love it's that. Family, just family things. I love that. You would say the same thing, my love? Yes. Yeah. So what are your staple foods? Like, if I come here as an American and I say, I want to eat some good habanone food. What is you guys' food? Like, I know about, I know about pap, right? Yeah. Okay, so you guys eat pap, but what else? A lot of rice. So, I mean, like, what is, like, an actual meal that's, like, somebody could say, oh, that's from Habanon right there. That's from Botswana. Seven colors. You call it seven colors. Seven colors? What yeah. kind of meal is that? It has rice. Uh-huh. Butternut. Uh-huh. We shoot. Uh-huh. Chicken, uh -huh. beef, stew, and all sorts. And a, and a green salad on the seven side. Colors. Okay. It's just a mixture of colors of food. A mixture of colorful food. It's cooked in a swan away. A way. Yes. I like that. Thank you, ladies, so much. Yeah, I appreciate uh, it. You. I'm asking the youth today, by the way, yeah. what is the Botswana culture or Kabarong? What would you say? What is your culture? Yeah. What are you known for, your 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 country? I guess diamonds. Diamonds? Yeah. Okay. That's it? Yeah. Well, thank you, Ted. Botswanian culture. What is what is your country known for? What would you say as the youth? Well, hold on, one at a time. So what would you say? Diamonds and meat. Diamonds and meat. Tourist. Tourist? Really? Wildlife. Okay. Are you proud of your culture? Yes. What's like your favorite Botswanian meal to eat? Seswan. What? Polish. Okay. Oh, pap. Oh, pap. Okay. Well, thank you guys. Enjoy your movie. You going to see a movie? No. We're going to come. We're going to come. We're going to come. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, we have to help us. No, 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 no.
if you were to sum up your culture in one word what would it be in Botswana I mean what do you eat what is your favorite food what is what do you what would you say if someone from America was to say hey I want to visit Botswana but I don't know what to do or I don't know what is your culture I would offer them traditional sam sap yeah sap is it sap or sap Sam. Sam. Okay. And what is that made of? Uh, no, it's just <laughs> Okay. Thank you, love. It's, it's okay. So, <laughs> what would you say is Botswana's culture? So, you're, you're a young guy, obviously. So, I want to ask well, to you. Well, we have a diverse culture here. You have a diverse culture? Yes, yes. We have various tribes. Various tribes. So what about Khabarone? What, what would you say about this area you know, here? We all have an influence uh -huh. of our cultures. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, <laughs> We are raised by cultural people, if I make sense. Okay, but like, like what makes Botswana Botswana? What stands out? What are some of your staple foods or your maybe festivals, holidays? What what makes you different from every other African country? So first of all, I can say peace. Peace. You yes. know what? Everybody's hate, been saying peace. We don't like fighting that much, and mm -hmm. we really, you know, we value respect. Value respect. Exactly. Okay. Just like having fun. Like having fun. Okay. Yeah. Levang. Okay. So, what would you say is Botswana culture? What is the culture if someone wants to ask you about Botswana or Khabarone? In one word, what is your culture? Our culture is. Botswana is really cool. Really cool? Yeah, really cool. Yes, okay. It's really cool. Yeah. People are just the vibes. Yeah. It just got the vibes. Got the okay. Vibes. And everybody's just friendly. Friendly. I heard about peaceful. Said so you guys are very peaceful. Yes, yes. Girl. What is your favorite Botswana meal or Botswana meal? We, we, we do pop. I don't pop. know. Yeah, yeah, I heard about pop, it. Pop yeah. So okay. Yeah, like the pounded meat, the pounded, and then, yeah. It's okay. Good. Well, thank you so much. Hi. Hey. <laughs> What's your name, to be done? I'm Sydney. Okay. I'm Cole. Uh huh. I'm angry. Angry, okay. So, I'll start with you. What would you say the Botswana culture is? Culture. Mm, this culture is all about mm, the old things that happen, like the tradition, mm, the history, what you have, like what people come here in Botswana for is mm -hmm. things like for tourism, the food we're having in here, mm -hmm. hobe, hobe meaning like so, so, as a, so as a young person, how do you view your country or what would you say the culture is for you now in Botswana? Botswana, Botswana is still developing now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I can say about it. Okay, you have something to say about your country? Uh, no. What is your favorite Botswana meal to eat? Cultural, traditional meal? <laughs> huh? Are you trying to find the words in English? Yeah. Well, I know pop. You said you eat pop. Yeah, it's a pop. Pop. What about this seven color meal or something like that? <laughs> what is that? Seven color meal. It's rice and some salads. Rice and salad. Yeah, even chicken. So it seems like you guys eat pretty healthy. Do you eat a lot of meat in Botswana? Yeah. yeah. You eat a lot of meat? Like yeah. you say, yeah, yeah. Uh, you eat meat. Yeah, uh, eat you meat. play sports? You play football? Or... Yeah. Yeah. yeah you play sports? What do you play, girl? Football. Who? Football. You play, so it's called soccer. And... Yeah. Okay, so you play soccer. Yeah. Okay. You trying to go big? Trying to go major? Yeah. <laughs> trying to go pro? Yeah, I want to go Australia. Australia? Nice. Okay, well, I wish you guys the best. Thank you. Thank you. So, like, what is Botswana's culture? We have so many tribes. Uh huh. So, we have the Kalanga, we have the Kalanga Kenji, tribe. We have, yes, we have so many tribes. What about your music? Do you have like a famous Botswana artist or a type of music? Or do you feel like you listen to a lot of South African music? Yeah, we still I listen to a lot of South African music. South African music. music. Yeah. What is the Botswana dish, like that traditional dish? Maybe your mom or grandma made for you? <laughs> say, wait, say, say, say that again? Oh yeah. It's like porridge, but it has 
this other, I don't know how to call it. It's porridge, <laughs> but it has something else in it? Yes. Okay. So, so I met a millennial and he, he felt the same way we were, we were just talking about regarding, because I know you just told me, hey, I never thought about that before. Yeah. Times are changing, so it's really hard to answer questions as a youth, yeah. as a youth here in Botswana about our culture. We so never what really talk about our culture anymore. Yeah. It was like at school, yeah, we did talk about it, but we didn't really dwell much. You really don't resonate with the millennials or the older generation here, yeah. right? So you because feel like there's a big gap. The, yeah, there's a big gap because they live at the villages we live in the city so ah. we never really interact with them much ah, have you ever thought about going to the villages and interacting yeah, with the older generation festive only we're working here we uh -huh. came here for work yeah. so and living here going there it's uh -huh. like but there are no jobs at the village right so we come here most of the time so mm -hmm. we get jobs mm -hmm. thank you yeah. give me your name again my name is Wandipa Kaluluka. Wandipa, I'm going to just say Wandipa, okay? So tell me about the culture. If you could tell me about Botswana culture, what would you say? It's a rich culture. It has uh -huh. different traditions. Okay, like, rich culture, different traditions. Yeah, yeah, we have different tribes in the country, like uh -huh. Bakalaka, Bahurutsi, Bakata. Uh -huh. What is like a traditional food or like the traditional music? Do you, would you guys say you have like your own culture when it comes to that? Yeah, we have uh, different... Mm -hmm kinds of food like uh -huh. pine, uh -huh. bakal, eh, uh -huh. normally eat pine like. then bangwato. What about music? Do you guys have a, a famous Botswana artist or do you feel like you listen to music from other cultures? No, we have famous Botswana like Vima Mpizi, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh, One girl said y'all listen to a lot of South African music. Yeah, normally we listen to South African music because of I'm a piano. Okay. Would you would you want to see more Black Americans um, visit Botswana? Yes, I would very much because I like that culture. You like the Amer African American culture? Yes. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Peace, royal family. I truly hope all is well with each and every one of you. So there you have it. <laughs> that was the few interviews I got for the day. Believe it or not, the youth was more camera shy here in Botswana than I imagine they would be usually the youth is really you know eager to get in front of a camera they're tick tocking all day usually but it was really interesting to get their perspective most of them said the same thing it's really interesting uh to see them be lost for words i guess maybe they're not used to people asking them about the culture so much i had a good time just walking around the cbd and hanging out and just getting uh to talk to some of the youth it seems to be a very similar pattern the answers are pop and it's the seven colors dish and Botswana just being peaceful and being diverse being open being friendly and being loving so there you have it until next time peace